None of us could have prepared for that. You'll be all right, son. Thank you. Yes, sir. Of course, I will. Hey, welcome back lads. So today we have an update to all of the Call of Duty 2021 leaks and rumors which once again says this is not going to be a Modern Warfare 2 like we all first expected but there is a comparison in here to Black Ops Cold War which is intriguing. So what do you say? Let's get into this. It's that time of year when people kind of just get bored of the newest game and look forward to the next which is all about the excitement of the the unknown, right? And to clear up what is happening this year with COD, the insider Tom Henderson said, As far as I am aware, no, Sledgehammer Games and Infinity Ward are not working together on Call of Duty 2021. They are still working on their own individual Call of Duty titles, not working together. So, two different COD games are being developed, one of which will be from Infinity Ward, and that would be a Modern Warfare 2, a sequel to Modern Warfare 2019. Modern Warfare 2019 was developed over three years, so I doubt they would have literally just one year to do the next one. Like, that is mad. No way. So now we are left with the Sledgehammer Games game, so we don't know. We're still not sure if they will go back to their World War II series or the Advanced Warfare series. Either which one would be very controversial, but Tom did say that next month in March, he should have some, like, solid info about that for us, like what the setting and time period of the game will be. Now, according to Tom's timeline, Modern Warfare 2 would have started development around September last year, while this game, COD 2021, would have started in 2019, giving it longer development time than Cold War, which is great because Cold War had problems behind the scenes and released with an all-time record low multiplayer maps and just the one zombies map. So for COD 2021, we should expect much more finished product and more content, which is great. That's what we need quality and quantity. So that is great stuff, right? It's exciting, it's promising, it's hopeful and Imagine if Cold War had an extra year of work on it, all the extra maps, weapons, modes, innovations, and even stuff like bug testing, quality assurance. That is what COD 2021 should be like, unless th something goes horribly wrong, like a global pandemic or something. This news or leak or whatever also has a positive knock-on effect, because it means Treyarch can stay focused on Cold War and developing, like, DLC content and updates for the whole year, and also for Infinity Ward and Modern Warfare 2, which should be Call of Duty 2021, so, I mean 2022, so we are getting a bit far into the future there, but it means the whole COD cycle is kind of back to normal. Yes, that's right, we're celebrating not releasing a game a year and a half after it's started development. We're celebrating not having some horrendous events going on. Anyways, lads, stay spicy, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.